Hey everyone, so in today's video, I want to talk about some really beautiful, unique items. I did this video, I guess like a year and a half ago. I remembered that I did it and I've really been meaning to do this video again to talk about some particular items that I just feel have you know, are just unique. They bring something different to the table. They are a breath of fresh air. Um, obviously there is makeup, new makeup coming out all of the time. And I think that finding those kind of standout items or the products that kind of break the mold or something different, um, I find that to be, again, like, a bit refreshing. So let's talk about it. I'm going to be doing demos and swatches in natural light, of course. I always try to do that when I can. So if you guys do appreciate it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. I have to first start off with um, a lipstick item that I am incredibly, incredibly excited about. Now, probably a caveat that I should say is that I don't think that in particular this is a super unique or innovative formula necessarily. However, the timing of this product, the colors, the launch put together was very smart and felt just like, again, like a, a breath of fresh air to me. So these are the lipsticks from Merit, the Signature Lip Lightweight Lipsticks. So I bought four different shades and I can't even tell you. So I bought, I believe, two and then I ended up purchasing two more. These are absolutely, absolutely beautiful. So if you are a fan of a very wearable sheer lipstick that is more on the stiff side, these are absolute perfection. I feel like every brand is coming out with lipsticks that are a little bit on the sheer side, but they lean more towards like a sheer lip oil or a sheer balm or a sheer lip gloss. Like those are the kind of lip products that I'm seeing brands come out with. And especially in lipstick form, they're always really glossy. The fact that these are just nice satin sheer lipsticks and colors that feel very cool and inspired, that makes me really incredibly excited. So I have four shades. I know that I'm missing the shade uh, Baby. Um, that's more of a, a pink, a light pink shade. Honestly, I was kind of on the fence about the shade Slip because it looks like such a beigey light nude and those shades, particularly on me, I always feel like they wash me out. But when I put it on, I was like, what? Like it is by far the lightest nude shade that I feel like still complements my skin and doesn't make me look really washed out. I am certainly going to be comparing this formula to some of the luxury sheer lipsticks that I have tr tried for a long time, some newer ones that I've been trying like Gucci. Uh, I'm very, very excited to do some comparisons for you guys upcoming on these. I love how stiff this product is while also having a gorgeous glide to it. The pigment is even, they're very, again, they're lightweight and very comfortable on the lips, but but they are not by any means drying. The colors were so expertly thought out. It's a very flattering sheer formula. Some sheer formulas are more flattering than others. I would say across the shades I have, the formula is pretty much the same. Aside from Le Avenue, which is one of the more purpley shades, and I do find that this one has uh, just a touch more um, emollience to it. I think sometimes with a deeper shade, if they wanted to like kind of retain that pigment, they might add um, a little bit extra emollience. But overall, you guys, these are, they're absolutely, absolutely beautiful. I have an entire video um, coming soon on Merit. I'm trying a bunch of products from Merit. Now, I wanna talk about a product that I feel like really inspired <laughs> this video for me. So this is the Lawless Forget the Filler Overnight Lip Plumping Mask. This to me is really a unique item and I'm very happy that Lawless came out with this. I really haven't seen another product like this, so I do consider this to be quite unique. So Lawless does the Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Glosses. Those I absolutely adore. I have the shade Velvet and I absolutely love this. If you like a gloss or even a lip, lip plumper in general, if you want that really like luscious, every line filled in kind of look for your lips, this gives it to you. It really, 
I mean, it definitely gives that lip plumped effect for sure. However, uh, this lip mask, I personally think is such a smart idea because if you'd like to plump your lips while also hydrate and kind of prep them, this is so ideal for prepping your lips with as you do your makeup. Your lips will feel smoother and hydrated. This is a lip mask, so the texture is really nice and thick. Not too thick. It's not as thick as like the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. It's a touch thinner than that, but similar kind of texture. You apply it and it very lightly tingles on the lips. It gives you that plump effect. I'll show you kind of like the before and after as five minutes passed. I definitely saw like a more plump look, but even more so, it really preps and smooths the lips really well. I personally have like very chronically dry lips, something that I've struggled with like literally since I was a kid. This does such a good job of prepping, giving you that plump, and so your lips are like extra ready to go into uh, whatever lip product you want to apply. Whereas I feel like other lip plumping serums, for example, they're just not quite hydrating enough. They're not quite as nourishing or like, don't even get me started on like, no one wants to prep their lips with like a gloss necessarily, especially if it's one that kind of like leaves behind a tack. It also smells like strawberries. Like it, oh, it's delicious. Oh, and by the way, um, I don't think I mentioned this. Uh, the Merit lipsticks have like not really a smell whatsoever. It just kind of smells like lipstick. Now let's talk about what is on my eyes. Um, it's kind of like that wet, uh, glossy looking shadow that I have on. By the way, set your notifications to on because I am like finally ready to say that, that my updated best wet looking eyeshadows video is coming next week. Finally, really wanted to make sure I had B-roll demos and natural light of every single product that I'm talking about. So it's it's definitely been a while. Um, I've been teasing this for a while, but it's finally coming next week. So make sure that your notifications are set to on. But one product that I wanted to talk about in today's video, because I really do feel like it is something quite unique, is the Celestial Spheres from Richwell Defeat. Now, in my first video where I talked about like, you know, unique formulas, unique products in general. Um, I talked about their Ashen Ember Eye Soots, and that is still a formula that I really, really adore. It's a very sooty, um, it's almost like a powder eyeshadow mixed with um, an oil, and it has created like this really like ashy, sooty kind of texture that melts into the eyes uh, really beautifully. Um, I would recommend checking out my original video if you're interested in that item. I'll leave it linked down below, but this product from Ritual Defeat I find to be something a little bit different and really uh, special. Certainly not something I think, you know, great for every day just because of the type of item this is, but this is essentially a cream eyeshadow mixed with an eye gloss. It almost reminds me of, if you guys are familiar with like the kind of foil flakes that a lot of brands are coming out with, for me, this kind of seems like a mix between a cream eyeshadow, those kind of foil flakes, and an eye gloss like all mixed in together. Now something I like um, more about this than like those kind of flake items, this doesn't look super flaky <laughs> on the skin for lack of a better word. It has a smoothness that kind of, you know, looks more wet on the eyes. For me, it's just kind of like a different take on an eye gloss, an eye gloss with color, with glitter, way more pigment than a lot of other eye glosses with color and glitter as well. This has a touch of translucence to it, but really when you sheer it out, you're still going to get color. And that's kind of the big difference that I see why this kind of becomes this own, you know, its own category, its own uh, kind of product and why I think it's so unique. This is going to be a product that is going to crease. So if you are not, again, if you're not a fan of like eye gloss creasing, I can totally understand. Um, but personally for me, I just find it to give me this really cool, wet, glossy, kind of grungy look. And if that's something that I wanna go for, then this is something that I will reach for. This is the shade Serpens, by the way. And in particular, um, I think if you guys can't already tell, I love green. Um, I just find that green, like I've always really liked all shades of green. I like more of a green like this. I like very, very light green. I, I just like 
I like green. This is so cool because it's a nice balance between having like a really nice gold shift to almost going again like a touch green. It's very very wearable. I have this like look in my head of like a really strong kind of like kind of winged out um, eye look with just this it would be like a really winged out like glossy winged eyeshadow look I just like it keeps coming in my head and I feel like that would be absolutely gorgeous with this um I would highly recommend checking out Richwell Diffie's um, Instagram they have like they're the take the take that they have on their products I think is so unique it's like a little bit witchy it's really fun I mean I could go on and on about how a lot of their products I find to be particularly unique um their alchemist uh highlight intensifier is like a highlight for your highlight like if that could even be a thing that people like normally did i mean they created a product for that um yeah i just find their products to be really cool and this is one that i definitely wanted to mention and by the way i think it's best to kind of shape out an eye look that you want to do and like have a base shadow with these and then kind of use this to amplify and add that glossy look i did that with the charlotte Tilbury uh the rebel palette and look at those green tones oh my gosh I I can't wait to talk more about this palette I used this shade right here which is like a sequin shade and uh it's one of the most beautiful sequin shades I've ever used okay anyway not talking about this palette today um though it is very beautiful but I do want to talk about another product that I just find to be very very unique and maybe like I don't even know if this is a disclaimer. I don't think that this is my favorite product, but I have a sort of like appreciation for it. And that's why I wanted to mention it. So this is the Miracle Balm from Jones Road. And if you guys aren't familiar with Jones Road, um, this is Bobbi Brown's new brand. She left Bobbi Brown and then she started Jones Road. And this is essentially, it's a balm and they come in different shades. They add a really pretty um, balmy shine to the cheeks, onto the lips. You can put it on the eyes. I mean, this is kind of like a multi-use all over the face kind of item, but they're very sheer. They kind of act as both like a texture product and a very sheer um, color product. It really is going to just add um, like an overall radiance to your skin. So for me personally, using this on top of a foundation, for me, I'm not gonna really wanna reach for that for these because these are balmy it's going to remove the product that you have on sometimes i mean you can tap these in and kind of um be a little bit careful with them but honestly i'm not reaching for a product like this to put on top of makeup however if you are someone that does not like wearing base products um if you are doing like no foundation and you just want to add color to the cheeks you want to add um a freshness a dewiness again like a very slight touch of color these are really perfect for that and they look really beautiful you know how sometimes i feel like um when you wear like blush when you have no foundation on it can kind of look um, a little bit stark because these are so sheer and so natural and they have that really pretty balmy reflection to them it just looks like really pinched like revived skin so even though i can't really see myself using this every day for what the product is, I have an appreciation for it. And I think that if you're someone that really loves like minimal, minimal makeup, you just want a fresh look onto the cheeks, this is an item that I can see you really liking, even if it's not something that I'm going to incorporate all the time into my routine, if that makes sense. Let's talk about the blush that I have on my cheeks. And this is still a product that I'm uh, getting to know, but I did want to mention it because it, I just feel like this is going to be a product that a lot of people start talking about this summer. So this is the Cheek Clapper a 3D Blush Trio from One Size. This is the shade Rich Betch. Um, and it is a cream blush palette with a cream, a matte powder, and then a more high shine um, kind of blush topper up here. So it comes in a variety of shades. I actually already have the, sh like the, freaky peach uh shade coming in the mail to me but this is the blush that i'm wearing on my cheeks today it's very reminiscent of the patrick ta palette how he did the duo of the cream and powder i will be doing an upcoming um buy this not that video 
and we'll be comparing this to the Patrick Ta, so be on the lookout for that video. But what I've really been enjoying about this product is that this gives you ultra rich, ultra rich pigment. And I think that a lot of brands kind of shy away from pigment sometimes. And I like that this is going to be a color that works for a lot of people because of that pigment. The matte formula is incredibly, incredibly smooth. I like to kind of press it into my cheeks. You do not need much. So I feel like I'm even, again, like getting to know the product, like as I was doing the demo even, I had to like take my time blending because certainly you, again, you don't really need much of this product at all. But I applied the powder and then I went on top, like the just the tops of my cheekbones with the shimmer. And the shimmer powder is not quite as smooth, I guess just because of the shimmer particles. Um, it's not quite as smooth as the matte powder, but I was very impressed with how pretty it looked and it just kind of added another, um, just another element of dimension to the cheeks rather than like a shimmery, shimmery, glittery kind of look, which I really liked. And then this cream is just absolutely absolutely beautiful it is high pigment it is incredibly incredibly easy to blend it reminds me of what i was hoping the rare beauty um cream blushes to be not the liquid ones the cream ones in the pan the stay vulnerable yeah the stay vulnerable blushes very kind of similar texture but it blends better it has better pigment and it wants to stick to the skin better than those did those like really looked choppy on my skin i will however say though that they're like there's a learning curve because of the pigment on these but i really feel like once you get the hang of it it's gonna be a product that really can give you an ultra sculpted really pretty blush look like i feel like i didn't add any bronzer to my skin today and this really has added like shape to my cheeks they feel again it feels like a 3d kind of lifted blush look so excited to do that comparison for you guys uh comparing this to the patrick ta really a very unique product um and i'm excited to get my new shade in the mail too i'm interested in seeing if that's going to be less pigmented if it'll be easier to work with at least in that way but we're gonna have to see. And lastly, we are going to talk about a product that uh, I've talked about a lot, and that's why I wanted to save it towards the end. But as I have continued to use it, I feel like I can't ignore it. Like it, it deserves a place in this video, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And it's the Kosas Revealer Skin Improving Foundation. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Um, the reason, that I had to mention this is that it just, I, I'm wearing it today. I haven't wanted to reach for another foundation. I don't really feel like for an everyday basis, like if I need my skin to look good, I'm now reaching for this. Um, you guys know that I already feel that way about the Kosas Revealer Concealer. So the fact that I now feel so strongly um, in the same way about the foundation, it just, it, it makes me so, <laughs> so excited i really was not expecting the like to love the foundation as much as the concealer because the concealer is truly truly a holy grail product like if this went away right now if i didn't have any on hand i would go out and purchase one to do my makeup the next day there is really no other concealer that that can really work for my dry hollow under eyes a lot of concealers again can conceal darkness but they can exaggerate the hollowness that um that i have so this concealer just made me excited to wear concealer again but now that i'm using the foundation um, i'm finding that i love the foundation for similar reasons it gives you such beautiful immediate light coverage um, but it can build up to medium coverage it looks like fresh skin it has a blur to it um it has a radiance that kind of like emits a radiance from within it looks very slightly dewy but it's not an overly dewy product if my skin is not doing well this conceals that too like it really um makes dull skin look revived and fresh makeup wants to blend really beautifully on top of it and it layers really nicely as well so if you feel like 
you need to apply more again like throughout the day you know how sometimes you'll wear foundation and you're like oh i need to go out i need to just do you know a little bit of a refresh um if you were to apply a little bit more of this on top you wouldn't even be able to tell again but it still has this kind of fresh blur about it and that's what makes it so unique hard to explain because i haven't really experienced it with other items except for maybe the shiseido uh radiant foundation it is just it's incredible i need to pick up a self tan shade because this summer like me and you baby and lastly, this is a product that um, I wanted to very briefly mention. I wasn't planning on talking about this, but I was kind of going back and forth, and I'm just going to talk about it anyway, um, even though I don't have a demo ready for you guys yet. But this is the Dyson Airwrap. Yeah, so I mentioned this very... Sorry, there's... Uh, a bit of hair in there. This was an item that I mentioned in my um, Sephora recommendations video, and I still recommend the Dyson Airwrap. I know that, um, you know, it's polarizing. Some people really think it's worth it, some people don't. For me personally, okay, as someone that never liked doing my hair, never did much with it, would just go and get haircuts, would do an air dry, do a blow dry here and there, this has made me look forward to doing my hair. I feel like my hair, ha like it's never looked better because of the air wrap. And also, I mean, I've been doing some really intense, like just taking care of my hair better in general. So like the health of my hair is also doing better. But as far as styling goes, once you get the hang of this, it like, it, it really like, it changed the way that I approach my hair routine altogether. And that's what I was really hoping for. Um, I was hoping for this to be a product that replaced all of my other items and this has. I don't use my regular hair dryer. I don't use my curling iron. I don't even really use my round brush anymore at all. I actually recently asked you guys if you wanted to see like my hair routine and another video like outvoted um, that video in a poll. So that's why I haven't done it yet, but um, please like feel free. Like I personally this year really want to do more hair content on my channel because I've been learning a lot more. I've been having a lot more fun with it. I also last year went through some like stress related hair loss. So I feel like I have really been thinking about hair more, trying out more products. In general, I've just been doing a lot more. So um, it makes me excited to talk more about hair and I would really like to if you guys are interested in that. Honestly, I could never say like, because this is so expensive, I could never say like, it's going to be worth it for you. I would never try to say that. Can I say that it was worth it for me and it's a purchase that I'm very happy with? Yes. And yeah, you guys, so those were some really beautiful, unique products that I have been loving or just wanted to talk about. Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, thank you for watching and I will hopefully see you all in my next one.